yesterday we completed solutions and today we will start uh, electrochemistry um, last year you have read about electrolytic uh, cell and uh, representation of the electrochemical cell so we will proceed for this electrochemistry of class 12 chemical reactions can be used to produce electrical energy conversely electrical energy can be used to carry out chemical reactions that do not produce spontaneously for those they do not pre, uh, proceed spontaneously previously you have read about redox reactions what the re redox reactions are for example the reaction of uh, redox reaction is zinc solid plus copper ions gives this zinc ions plus copper uh, solid so here there is loss of electron this is oxidation part and the, there is gain of electron this is um, reduction part this is reducing agent this is oxidizing agent now what are conductors conductors you know who uh, which uh, through which elect uh, current can be passed metallic or electronic conductors Um, they allow electricity to pass through them without undergoing any chemical change and its conduction is carried by the movement of electrons for example copper silver etc the, um, next is elect, uh, electrolytes and electrolytic conductors electrolytic conductors are those um, substances which allow electricity to pass through um, them in their molten state or in the form of their aqueous solutions and undergo chemical decomposition and is carried by the movement of ions so you have understood that metallic um, conductors is movement of electrons and uh, electrolytic conductors is carried by the movement of ions that's the difference so now we will proceed to electrolytic cell what is the electrolytic cell it is the cell which converts electrical energy into chemical energy here is the um, electrolytic cell these are two electrodes here anode is positive and cathode is negative these electrodes are connected connected to the battery terminals this is, is um, um, uh, electrolyte copper sulfate so here this electrode uh, loses electrons to form copper ions these copper ions um, they add up uh, these two electrons because i have uh, shown you how oxidation and reduction takes place and um, forms copper solid this is how this electrolytic cell works now this uh, time in 12th class uh, we are going to discuss more about the electrochemical cell uh, electrochemical cell here in electrochemical uh, has oxidation half um, is separated from the reduction half they are joined by a salt bridge salt bridge has uh, kno3 or agar agar uh, which is plugged uh, cotton plugs these are cotton plugs this is salt this is used for the transfer of ions here one electrode is dipped in its ions uh, if this is zinc uh, electrode it is dipped in zinc sulfate solution and if this is copper um, electrode it is dipped in copper sulfate solution now what happens first here as we have already said it is conversion chemical energy into electrical energy this is voltmeter and this is key so uh, oxidation takes place with oxidation there is loss of electrons and electrons move in this direction Uh, from anode to cathode and current moves opposite to it same thing happens uh, in the electrolytic cell so when oxidation takes place it loses electrons electrons move from uh, this side and um, they um, they are being added by the ions present here and it is deposited here and to keep the balance between the negative and positive charge there is movement of uh, charge um, ions from this to this through via salt bridge so now how we will we can uh, represent this um, cell the, uh, so representation of daniell cell is like this this is zinc solid this is this uh, representing this electrode oblique uh, representing the ions what are the ions ions are zinc ions and this double uh, line represents the salt bridge and these are the copper ions and uh, this is the copper solid means copper electrode this is the representation
so oxidation half what happens to this is uh, uh, at anode their oxidation takes place and at cathode reduction takes place so what reaction happens at the um, anode that is oxidation half reaction i told you zinc uh, solid gives zinc ions plus 2 electrons reduction half that is at uh, cathode copper ions um, gain these two electrons and uh, copper uh, is formed this is how this cell works in our next video we'll uh, um talk about the electrode potential emf and everything thank you this so next is electrode potential what is electrode potential it is the potential difference that develops between the electrode and electrolyte is called electrode potential now i'll explain it it is the potential de difference developed between the electrode and the electrolyte mm, this is electrode when the concentration of all the species involved in a half cell is unity when the concentration is unity uh, then the electrode potential is known as standard electrode potential now what is cell potential cell potential is the difference between the electrode potentials of the cathode and the anode this and this potential difference developed between the cathode and the anode is called as the uh, electrode potential that is e cell is equal to e right e right minus e left that is here you have um, copper and copper sulfate so it will be um, e um, electrode potential of copper and co uh, copper ion cu2 plus oblique co uh, copper and um, electrode potential of zinc so this gives you the uh, electrode potential now how to measure uh, suppose we want to measure the electrode potential of the half cell then we can attach it to the hydrogen electrode bits because its uh, uh, electrode potential is always taken as zero the hydrogen electrode can be used as a cathode it can also be used as the anode so how we can do that i'll explain it um, again measurement of electrode potential to find the electrode potential of a half cell it is connected to a, st a standard hydrogen electrode which is assigned the zero potential at all temperatures corresponding to the reaction so reaction happens like this h plus h plus electrons it gives half of uh, h2 gas so this is hydrogen electrode it consists of a platinum wire um, this is platinum foil coated with finely div divided platinum and hydrogen gas at one bar pressure and 298 um, kelvin is bubbled into it and uh, here, uh, here the solution is one molar um, hcl so if standard hydrogen electrode she acts as anode the reaction takes place like this h2 gives this if she acts as cathode um, reaction is this twice h plus 2e gives h2 gas the electrode potential can be determined by connecting the half cell with the standard hydrogen um uh, with a uh, standard hydrogen electrode the electrode potential of she is taken as zero so this is always taken as zero the electrode potential of a metal electrode as determined with respect to standard or normal hydrogen electrode is called standard um electrode potential and it is denoted by e not the half cell which has greater tendency uh, to lose is kept on the left hand side and e not cell is calculated so it means sometimes we may use uh, on the right hand side or sometimes we may use it on the left hand side so finally um, it is um, uh, said that it is uh, found uh, electrode potential or emf e not cell is equal to e r minus e left so this is how we can calculate um, uh, we can calculate electrode potential uh, or when hydrogen electrode is used we take it uh, as a we take it uh, it is always zero uh, at all um, at one bar and 298 kelvin so with this we have completed uh, this electrode potential how to calculate the electrode potential thank you have a good day